I'm standing here with a rhododendron, but this is a Varea rhododendron. So these are rhododendrons that come from the tropics, mostly from islands in Southeast Asia, through New Guinea, and even one species into Australia. This is a cultivar called fire plum, but there are over 300 species and they mostly grow in montane rainforests. So that's rainforests in the tropics above a certain altitude. So in Australia, the Australian, only Australian species rhododendron lockiae grows around 950 meters and above on the top of some of the tallest peaks in far northern Queensland like Mount Bellenden Kerr. They grow naturally as ep epiphytes or lithophytes. So they grow attached to a tree to get up to the light or they grow attached to the rock. They're usually fairly small shrubs, somewhere between a meter to 1.5 meters and have this nice domed shape about them. Flowers at the end of the branches. So like in this case, you can get beautiful covering of these striking flowers. For the Australian rhododendron, rhododendron lockiae, as the climate changes and Australia warms up, this particular species is especially challenged because we'd ordinarily think of a plant going higher up the altitudinal gradient as the temperatures warm, but those mountains in far northern Queensland don't really get any higher. So there's research into the Australian species rhododendron lockiae to see if it will grow at lower latitudes and deal with the cold. And that does quite well here in our Sydney gardens and you'll see some examples in our Australian rainforest gardens. We have lots of different varieties of Varea rhododendrons sprinkled throughout the gardens. I'm here near our succulent garden. There's some at the entrance to our fernery and also lining our creek. They grow best in semi-shade, so morning sun is perfect, protected from the westerly sun and the strong westerly winds. They really glow in these kind of garden locations where these bright red, sometimes pink and yellow flowers really shine. So these are Varea rhododendrons. You found them throughout the middle gardens precinct here at the Royal Botanic Gardens, Sydney.